Hi, in this video we're going to show you how you could apply colors and other icons to your folders in Windows using a free tool called Folder Marker. So this is an older program, but it still comes in pretty handy if you like to apply some colors. So a couple ways you could use it. Once you install it, you'll have the main interface here where you could add and remove folders. You could also drag folders into there if you want. Let me just get this out of the way. So let's say this bike trip info, you could drag it in. You could pick a color, apply. So let's refresh here. Okay, now you can see we got our green folder there. And then you could also do another one. So just keep in mind, if you do it this way, anything you have in this window, let's say if we go blue now and apply, they're both going to be blue. It's, it's going to change anything that's in this window. So if you want to do one at a time, I'll show you the other way we could do it. And if you want to restore, you could do that. Change them back to the way they were. And then there's also an option to roll back all the changes you have made from that menu. You could also change it to single file view if you just want to do one at a time. Size of the icons, of course, language. Okay, so you have your colors. Then you also have some icons. So let's say uh, this one here, we're going to mark it as important. You can see it puts a lock on it like that. So if you want to do this uh, just without the uh, program here, just from the uh, file explorer itself, you could right click on a folder. So of course, if you're Windows 11, you have to go to show more options unless you hold down shift. And then you have this mark folder. So you have colors, you got your recent, then you have all your other icons here and restore your defaults. So let's do uh, red. Let's change this one here. Like so. That's one more time here. Okay, so now that we have everything changed here, let's say we want it to roll everything back. Let's see if that works here. Roll back all changes. And I can see everything's back to normal. So it's pretty simple to use. I really like just doing the right click method than trying to do it from here because then if, like I said, if you have more than one folder, it's gonna apply to everything unless you switch it to the single folder view. So you, you know, it's might as well just right click on the folder you want and use the uh, menu that way. So I'll put a link in the description where you could download it and then you could uh, try it out for yourself. All right, thanks for watching and be sure to subscribe.